Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. You know, the timing is fluid. It could be the 27th, could be the 28th, whatever. Whenever, because the timing is fluid, we are just going to see what comes up, what kind of message do I have to deliver today. You know, immediately I see the star, which is the star is guaranteed success in a situation. It's help. The star card comes up after the tower, which means that after a significant life event, you know, there is still some sort of hope. This is a blessing in disguise. Everything happens for a reason. There's a new purpose. The star brings you some sort of purpose. A wish being granted. You may not, it may not be exactly as you envisioned, but this is a blessing in disguise. The star is also something about help arriving. It's, you know, you know, what I just heard was, uh, that song. Oh, oh, it's by, uh, who the hell is that song by? It's uh, the angel that has come and pulled you out of the rubble. Sarah McLaughlin. Sarah McLaughlin. Uh, in the arms of an angel. It's where the angel comes and pulls you out of the rubble. You know, so you'll have to look. Well, I'll, I'll tag that song. Um, the arms of an angel. But, you know, it's like the angel has come to save you. You know, so <laughs> that's protection, right? So anyhow, that song just whatever. It is what that's obviously part of this reading. So something about angel protection. There's a reason why this has happened. This is a blessing in disguised. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Big mess. Attachment door to spirit. So spirit is coming or has come or is coming to break you free from something that you have been attached to, that you have been chained to. Door to spirit, that is angels, okay? This door is opening, the door is opening. The veil is lifting, the masks are coming off. It's time to break free. Spirit has intervened in some way. They are opening the door. Somebody, it's like spirit is opening a door. They are opening, and look at five, five. This is a five and this equals five. So five, five, this is your, a major life change, which is interesting. So we do have a major life change here. Okay, we do. Somebody is, is going to be detaching from a situation that they have been chained to. Okay, it's not healthy. You can't pretend. Okay, you notice the mask is off. Okay, the mask is coming off. You can't hide behind this mask anymore. There is some sort of there is some sort of divine intervention, if you ask me. Okay, five five are major life choices and major life changes that are very positive. So there is a positive life change coming, and there is some sort of spiritual guidance, spiritual help, help from above. Okay, there is help from above. Five 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 is major life change. I expect the unexpected, divinely guided major life changes that are very positive. Five plus five equals ten. Ten is a completion. So we do have a completion here. Something is ending. Something that was unhealthy. Something that was keeping you tied down. Something that wasn't allowing you to be who you truly are. That is definitely coming to an end. Okay? That is what we got going on here. I'm going to have to get another stand. Uh, ten converts to a one, which is independence. One is, an, is one. One is not two. One is one. And this is about oneness. It's about wholeness. It's about being who you are. So, there is definitely some sort of divine intervention here that is changing somebody's life. And this is about breaking free. Seriously, there is a bout of freedom here. Somebody is about to be broken free from a situation that was unreal. 
This was unreal. There is some sort of spiritual intervention. This door is opening. It's like spirit is opening the door. Breaking you free. So this is all about freedom. It really, really, really is. So there is some, some level of freedom here. Um, there's been a mess. You notice how the cards fell out. There was a fallout. This was a mess. An absolute mess. But this mess has happened for a reason. It happened for a reason. Because you have to detach from this situation that is keeping you tied down. This isn't... This isn't um, it's not practical. It's not realistic. It's uh, unhealthy. It's dark. It's gray. It's a very gray situation, you know, and, and you're supposed to be free. You're not supposed to be tied to situations that are dark and gray and uh, don't allow you to be who you truly are. You shouldn't have to wear a mask. Oh my God, I don't know what is going on. There's a fallout. There's definitely going to be a fallout. Two pentacles reversed. Nine of wands reversed. Somebody is avoiding challenge. They're avoiding challenge. They're avoiding change. Okay, they're avoiding change. Don't want to deal with the controversy. Don't want to deal with the confrontation. But things are definitely going to, or they're falling apart. There's a lack of financial stability. Somebody has made some poor decisions. They're lacking balance. So we got some poor balance here. Somebody has made some poor decisions. There's great personal fear. Feeling very overwhelmed. There's some hard feelings here. They're developing. Somebody is developing hard feelings because they made a poor decision. And this could be in many different areas. It could be a financial decision or you know somebody that they attach themselves to for the wrong reasons. Somebody definitely made a poor decision. And maybe it was based off of financial stability in the beginning and they thought that they, you know, could handle this, but now there's some sort of loss. This is like this is like a financial loss or a financial mess or trying to do too much. Somebody um was biting off more than they could chew and now uh there's some sort of somebody could be angry, put it that way. Definitely feeling overwhelmed. And this is being burned out. Somebody has tried to do something that they, they really has. Now they're tied to it. Now they're stuck in this situation. It's like shit. And this has all happened because of, you know, I don't know. The nine of wands reverse could be somebody that is sitting on a high horse. This person has extreme pride. Yes, look at this where it is. That's amazing where it has landed. Door to spirit. And this is God or a higher power. Okay? And and there's a, there is. There's a higher power involved that is opening the door. That is breaking somebody free from a situation that has caused them a lot of upheaval, a lot of chaos. You know, it's been a messy situation. Very challenging. So we do have somebody here that... Uh, is being guided. This is divine guidance right here. It really is. They're being guided out of this situation. But it's like, but there's a problem because there's, there's definitely, I feel like there's a problem because we have somebody that's still hanging on and they may be just hanging on by a thread. I don't want to let it go. I don't, because I'm comfortable here. I'm comfortable hanging on to this. It's comfortable. But this higher power is saying, go through this new door. Please go through this new door. i am open this door for you. I open this door for a reason. Can't you see how beautiful it is? Why can't you just let go of this gray, dark situation that is challenging you so much and costing you so much? Where is this card going to go?
<laughs> okay, so this is this is a higher power putting something to a stop. Stop light. Stop. Stop. This is out of your control. This is out of your control. There's a higher power involved, putting something to a stop. Stopping somebody in their tracks. Now, the chariot reversed is emotions. Emotions all over the place. Somebody, this is angry. Somebody could be getting angry. There could be some anger that is popping up, okay? Because somebody has bitten off more than they can chew. They, they tied themselves to something that... Wasn't healthy, obviously. So now with this chariot reversed, feeling defensive with these, there's there's defensiveness. We're having somebody here that is on the defensive. You know, they're 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 feeling like they're they may feel like they're being attacked even. But this is losing balance, losing money, losing uh, stability. Things because you you got to break free from this. This isn't this is this is not meant for you. It's not. So this is needing, seriously, needing to break free from this situation that has caused so much chaos in your life. And this is no con contingency plan. So we have somebody here that had no contingency plan. And now they're facing a financial mess. So this is a financial mess coming. Uh, ooh, four of pen. Yeah, somebody may be dipping. They may, they may even lose what they, they have in their bank account. They may have to dip into their savings, okay? This is the savings that could be going south, okay? The Four of Pentacles reversed with that Two of Pentacles. It's like you can't hold on to it. And this could be somebody that was greedy. Somebody that was greedy, somebody that was selfish, you know? Uh, they were they were uh, definitely trying to do too much. Now, now there's no real contingent contingency plan. They didn't weren't planning for this dead stop. They weren't planning for things to come to a halt. And now they got to dip into their savings. We definitely have somebody here that has a lot of pride with the nine of wands reverse. This person has a lot of pride. Hmm. Ooh frustrations at a high somebody hasn't learned a lesson as well with the temperance card reverse that's that is not learning your lesson being impatient there's inappropriate behavior there's extremes we're having somebody that needs to re-examine uh they've definitely went overboard okay with this card and this card somebody has went overboard they've they've tried to uh it's like pretend this is fake it to you, make it. They tried to pretend that they were something that they were not by the looks of things. Now they're going to lose. I think we have somebody here that is going to lose some money. They're going to lose some money. This person was definitely, has definitely went overboard. They tried to, they've bitten off more than they can do. Somebody has bitten off more than they can do. And, and, and now they're not in a healthy partnership. They're not in a healthy situation. Put it that way. This is not healthy. Something isn't right. So we have somebody here that has went to extremes. They tried to do something that wasn't very practical. And now it's going to cost them a lot of money. They're going to be dipping into their savings. And this is highly frustrated. Somebody is probably getting, they're probably, getting, there's probably definitely somebody that is getting angry here. They're probably going to get angry when they, when they find out or, or they figure out that, you know, there's definitely living behind a mask, pretending, a lot of pretending here. Somebody has been pretending and the higher power sees all this higher power sees all. So this person that has been pretending is probably, this is, this is a financial loss, a financial mess. So somebody, this person that was pretending is going to be experiencing a financial loss. Hmm. There's, there's been some lies with the eight of swords reversed. Some, there has been some lies and there is an op, somebody has been saying that they're very comfortable, pretending that they're very comfortable, but there's something that is being removed. This is an obstacle being removed that breaks them free. 
This is also a bubble being burst. So somebody's bubble is being burst. Interesting. Now, uh, hmm, three of pentacles. Now that is uh, working together, teamwork, putting in effort, proving themselves. Somebody's been trying to prove. They've been trying to prove their 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 uh, capabilities. Somebody's been trying to prove themselves, but to be somebody that they're not. Okay, um, this party is over. It's over. Somebody's. Uh, it's like there's nothing to celebrate here. There's no. Uh, it's cleanup time. This is a messy situation. I do apologize for the noise. I, they're build, They're fixing something out there, um, but this is a definitely a messy situation. Somebody could be going through, you know, a split. Okay, there could be a split that is coming up. Um, a splitting uh, or a letting go. Okay, a letting go. Somebody may be letting go. Somebody may, may if, if you say, say this is like employees, somebody hired somebody, you know, they're letting go. Somebody could be letting go of their employees, you know, because they, they didn't have any contingency plan and now the business is going south and they got to let some people go. Um, there's definitely unhealthy situation here. I do apologize about that noise out there. We definitely have a very unhealthy situation. And this is being removed. So there's somebody is being let go. Somebody is being let go from from a partnership, from a commitment. It's like because whoever they're dealing with doesn't have the money. They don't have the money. They said they had the money, but they don't have the money. Um God, that makes me mad. I'm sorry, that is really distracting me out there. I'm so mad. And this is part of the reading, okay? Everything that happens during a reading is part of the reading. This is a disruption. And we're, this is a disruption, okay? So be prepared to be dealing with a disruption in your life that changes everything. It changes your job. It changes your focus. It changes your life. You must look at things from a new perspective. You must struggle through this change because there's a reason, there's an opportunity for happiness that you have been missing. Somebody hasn't been following their heart. They've been focusing too much on their money, on their, on their finances, on their ego, on their pride. Not focusing on what matters the most, which is... Uh, internal happiness but again some people think that money is all that makes them happy because we have a this is definitely about money it is definitely about money here it's about money it's about the finances we have somebody here that has been staying attached to a situation just for financial reasons and it's really about the heart and somebody hasn't been following their heart and the higher power sees all. So they are going to cause some sort of disruption that causes major upheaval and chaos to that's going to make you follow your heart into a uh, bigger, brighter situation that is actually going to make you happy. So um, they're putting something to a complete halt. They're stopping somebody in their tracks. They're make, causing, and they're going to cause somebody to see the light and... Um, struggle through this this major life change that they have been avoiding so be prepared to deal with a major disruption that changes your life because you have been refusing to uh take action to that that says uh that your intuition and your gut and your heart 
has been telling you to do. So your intuition, your gut, and your heart has been telling you to go a certain path, to go a certain way, but somebody hasn't been listening and um, therefore the higher power is is stepping in to break you free from this situation whether you like it or not and that's what I see I think it's a very emotional time I think we have somebody that is going to um it's almost like combust you know what I mean it's like they combust they just blow up it feels like they blow up honestly and I don't I don't I just feel it I feel like there's there's going to be and that's part of it it's part of the plan it's gonna this this blow up is going to totally uh uh, break the chains okay there's chains that are going to be broken here put it that way there's ties that are going to be severed that's what I see I feel like uh, it's definitely going to be very emotional I think there's going to be some tears that are shed I think that somebody um, and it has to do with a commitment somebody has been in some sort of commitment that hasn't been making them happy in the higher power whether it's a financial commitment a job or a love uh, relationship okay where uh, you're just not compatible with this person. You're not compatible. You're not in love with it. There's no passion. It's like this This higher power says, okay, you're struggling to follow your heart. Struggling to follow your heart. You're struggling to love yourself enough. Your gut is telling you what to do. Your gut is really telling you what to do. You know what you need to do, but you don't have the, the willpower and the discipline and the determination to follow through with it so we're going to cause you some sort of major upheaval in your life uh, to break you free from this attachment that doesn't make you happy so be prepared for some major disruption that kind of pushes you or uh, stops you from living this lie. Good luck.